Well, Pope Francis has appointed a new bishop for the Roman Catholic Diocese of Syracuse, which includes Broome and Shenango counties. 56-year-old bishop-elect Douglas Lucia of the Diocese of Ogdensburg will become the 11th bishop of Syracuse, succeeding Bishop Robert Cunningham, who has served the diocese since 2009. Andrew Donovan of our sister station WSYR spoke with Lucia about how he first heard the news. And with all the saints, on this constant intercession in your presence, we rely for a tale of hope. It's Douglas Lucia's first mass of many as the leader of the Syracuse Diocese, but it's not his first mass in this cathedral. In fact, he was here just last week for Bishop Cunningham's 50th anniversary. It just so happened without either one of us knowing of the forthcoming appointment, that I was seated directly across from him at his Golden Jubilee in the cathedral. The next day, he got the call from the Vatican that he would succeed Cunningham. Welcome to Syracuse. Thank you very much. So you had no idea this was coming? I had no idea. If I said, in fact, I told my folks on Sunday night, and I said, I wish somebody did have a camera when I answered the phone, because I think it would have been the most shocked look I've ever had in my life. Um, I had no idea whatsoever. And he has no idea why he was chosen. There was no interview with the Pope. The selection of a bishop is a secret process. The only hint is that some are asked to submit recommendations. The only clue I had this morning, and I don't know if she was supposed to tell me, is my secretary in the tribunal said to me, <laughs> well, I had to write a letter. That's all I know so far. <laughs> one of many colleagues who feel he's ready for the responsibility, including picking up where Bishop Cunningham leaves off in healing the church. When it comes to clergy abuse and the scandal, I've known it for like 33 years because even one of my own pastors was, um, was dismissed because of charges. And so I've, I've seen the pain in parish communities. I've seen people's lives totally destroyed. And so I just want to be a healing presence. I want them to know that they can come to me. If I want to hear them, I want to be there for them. The new bishop will be ordained and installed at a ceremony this summer. An exact date has not yet been set. Outside the cathedral in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.